All right, guys. Yeah, so we are going to be getting ready here in just a very short order. So just uh, hang tight. Getting everything shared. Uh, all the freaking Discord channels I belong to and Twitter and all that good stuff. So we are going to get started here in just a second. All right, guys, and here we are in Valheim. This is a Viking survival game. This has taken some of the best parts of other survival games that we've actually covered here on the channel. Uh, just, uh, yeah, there's, yeah, it's, it's crazy. I was like, hey, I know that from another game. So, yeah, they're, uh, they're doing the uh, Pimp My... Franco, the Discord. I don't know what that means, Marcus. I closed Discord. <laughs> How's it going, buddy? Um, anyway, uh, take some of the best things from other survival games that we've played in the past and uh, jams them into here and is a whole ton of fun. So what I did, or here's what we're going to do. We're starting a brand new map. I'm, using, I'm going to use an existing character I have and basically what I've done is I stripped him down. I, I left him just a couple things uh, so that we can get started a little bit quicker, kind of cut down on the grind a little bit. But I didn't bring a bunch of resources or anything like that. As a matter of fact, it's just like a couple tools and that's it. And uh, they're tools that we would get in a few hours, but uh, we want to explore uh, the game a little bit. And uh, so we're going to start with my, uh, my very naked Viking Draco here. We're going to say start. We're going to say a new world. And uh, we're going to call this um, Draco's. I can't do any spaces. Draco's world. There we go. And this is the random seed that we're going to get. Uh, so who knows um, how it's going to be. It, 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 I hear the, there's some really weird uh, stuff, weird seeds out there. And keep in mind, this entire map is procedurally generated. So let's get to it. Oh. <laughs> yes, uh, welcome uh, Barbarian and Russ and Marcus. I feel like romper room around here. And it's the League of Blue Names. <laughs> Look down and realize... Everyone here is a moderator. That's all right. So hopefully we get a good seed here and not anything too crazy. This is a very long form game. I will say that. Um, what I mean by that is I feel cold. That's what I mean. Wow, it totally skipped that whole intro, which is totally cool by me. So um, let me give you the short version. Uh, this is Valheim. This is like the 10th level. And we were a, a Viking warrior in Midgard, hence Earth. And uh, Odin sensed that some of his enemies were rising back up to power in Valheim. Really? Already? Wow, this is going to be fun. I could die right here. I'm a punching fool. Uh, so he uh, searched Midgard for a fallen Viking warrior and found us and brought us to Valheim and wants us to cleanse Valheim before we can have our rest in Valhalla. So, uh, yeah, we're going to jump in. Looks like no tutorial stuff, which is totally fine. Uh, these pillars, this thing is very uh, central, obviously, to the game. Uh, there's Right now, there's going to be five different bosses that we have to fight. And they're scattered all over the map. Oh, 
Let me show you the map. So you go, oh, yeah, 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 some gray fog of war, right? Hold on. Let me zoom out a little bit for you. Oh, no, I'm not done. Oh, oh, no, still not done. Oh, oh, yeah, that's the map. Now let me zoom back in to see what we've actually exposed. So <laughs> this map is ridiculously huge. And any of the last four bosses, there's five right now. Any of the last four bosses could be anywhere on this map. The first boss is typically on the same little island. This is like an archipelago. Uh, so the first boss is typically on the same island, island as you. All the other bosses could be on other islands. So uh, let us uh, get out of the map. And uh, we're going to trigger. Uh, this uh, is like a... Um, a location beacon for where the next boss is. And we will see these in other locations that will then trigger where other bosses are. So, so we can see our other boss is right here and we are not ready to fight him. Did you need a boat to get to him? Wow. All right. Sorry to hear that. So the day, the new day is dawning. And just so you can see, I have nothing. I mean, I picked up this resin from that grayling that I just attacked. I have a bow, I have a pickaxe, and that's it. So you guys are going to get the full, fresh experience. The question is, is which way do we head? Let's go find this other ritual site. Oh, got us a boar here. Come here. That's going to be good eats right there. And yes, they all explode like that. Isn't it wonderful? All right, we're going to hit this rune stone. You guys can pause here really quickly and read that if you want. Because I'm moving on. Lots of boar. Come here, dude. I ain't done with you. Boot kick you into the next world. Oh, out of stamina. All right, there we go. Okay, so we are going to continue up this direction. And there are skills, but there aren't levels, if that makes any sense. Let's go open this uh this altar up here and to get wood you gotta start by beating down some sam uh saplings to start i could have brought my axe and all that stuff but i just said no i'll go with my existing character but there we go all right so here's the altar for the first boss. This is going to be a hell of a fight in all these trees. That's going to suck. Anyway, the first boss is this giant deer. And he's a badass deer. Hopefully we'll get to him tonight. We'll have to see. And basically we have to collect uh, two deer trophies and place them here on the mystical altar. And then he'll show up and we do a whole fight. So, um, oh, hello, Mr. Grayling. Come here. I really need to get some weapons. Actually, we should be able to make a club. Yep, yeah, let's do that. All right. So now we're just going to go do some exploration. Is hoping to find like a coastline or something. This foliage is ridiculous. Oh, found us an existing house definitely want to check out all of these that we find because as you can see there's a chest in here all right i don't hear any bees yes there are bees are a thing so all right so we've got some arrows perfect we can use our bow got some flint and some feathers so uh, we'll be able to uh use our bow and our club now 
And I'm seeing like open air over here. So let's head this direction. Hello. There's a lot of open space here. I'm still not seeing any water. I want to be close to some sort of water. There's a second one right here. Oh, this one's much more open. I like this one better. <laughs> so I'm going to open up my map. And uh, we are going to uh, set a, uh, I guess we'll pick, I don't know, the little dot. We'll set that here and we'll say, Gear Alter Better. There. And where are we? Okay, so we want to head. Actually, I think I do want to head south. Uh, simply because I want to be. I want my first base to be around that. So south that direction. Yeah, I knew that. I just didn't think that they would be so close together. Oh, come on. Mm. Thanks for the resin. This game is incredibly addictive. This thing will run on a potato with a monitor plugged into it. Literally, the game file size is one gigabyte. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's fantastic, so. I think if you read it without the sacrifice, then it... Oh, okay. Good to know. There is a day-night cycle. Uh, there is weather. Some of the weather is ridiculous. Okay. At least I'm still in the meadows. We'll worry about deer here in a minute. I don't think I've ever, I mean, come on, I've looked at a few maps of this game already, and, um, <gasps> water. I was going to say, I don't think I've ever run so far and not found water. Perfect. All right, I'm looking at this lovely open area over here. Here's some necks around. There they are. Here's the third one. There he is. Ah. That's going to be good eating right there. Oh, I didn't drop me anything. The bastard. Got to pick up some flint. You know, I played a little bit of Ark, but didn't care for it, actually. Not so much the open meadow I was hoping for, but that's all right. Oops, wrong weapon. Stop it. All right, so let's come up here. I think this will work. Looks like I got boar. Obviously, I have neck right down there by the water. I hear deer over there in the trees. Yeah, they're they're not quite frogs. They're very interesting. <laughs> All right, so. Honestly, I don't know what it is, Barbarian. 
as far as that like the game speed goes i haven't quite clocked it yet i haven't really paid attention but let's get to buildings i think i'm going to knock the top off of this and kind of flatten this out a little bit which i can do normally you wouldn't be able to do this so early in the game but I brought a tool that kind of helped me flatten out a little bit. There is actually a hoe that I didn't bring um, that is actually designed to, to flatten ground or raise ground. But this pickaxe will work just fine for this situation as well. Yeah, I mean, it's not like, this is not a, I'm not looking at for fidelity here. I mean, the graphics are nothing to write home about, but this game is 20 bucks and will run on a freaking potato. <laughs> I'd say that's a good start. Yeah. Much better. Okay. So let's put that away. Um, we need a hammer. That's the next thing. So we just need three wood. Well, we're kind of surrounded by wood. So let's come down here. Well, that's better than my fist. Uh-oh. Ah, I got a two for one there. There's one vendor in the game, too, so. And the vendor doesn't carry a whole lot. I imagine, because the game's still in early access, that the vendor will end up carrying more things. All right, we're going to need more wood. Might as well while we're here. Hey, Lip. Appreciate you dropping in. Oh, hello, dear. Or I could just shoot the tree. Uh, my stamina's out. What did I hit? Got that one. Ah, screw it. All right. Now we've got to be at around 50.
51. Haha. <laughs> Alright. And you can make rafts and boats and build huge fortresses or simple, you know, long homes. Long houses. There we go. That's the word. Okay. Now we can build our hammer. And we can also build a stone axe, too. Let's build the hammer first. Hammer allows us to build. Obviously, stone axe used for cutting crap down. Be a little bit better than the club I was using that is almost completely decimated. The durability bar is almost gone on that thing. But you don't have to keep rebuilding tools. You can repair them for free. Okay, so we're going to start uh, by using our repair tool, our hammer. And, um, oh, wow. I didn't realize that it was going to bring all of my known information with us, too. That's cool. All right, so we've got to build this bench, this workbench. I'm going to build it out of the way, like over here. Just so that I can get to uh, putting some floors down and stuff like that. And we'll throw, throw down some floors. Come on, there we go. Oh, I knew it. But I have an axe now. The physics in this game are a lot of fun. You chop down a tree, well, it could crush you, so you gotta be careful. <laughs> there is that. Oh, look at that, another man-made building. Hi. Yes, definitely no pick up and move. All right, let's go check this out. And right up there is a chest. So we got some more flint. We got some amber. Yeah, we've got some stuff. All right, it is getting late. It's getting dark out. And I have no stamina, so I can't jump. There we go. All right. Back into hammer mode. And I will probably be ripping all of this out at some point here. Right now, I just want to build something that will protect me for the night. That'll do. And out of wood again. Hope everyone's having a great night. Oh, that's a rock. I don't think I can cut this. No, that's an oak. I can't cut that down right now. Oh, hello, Mr. Boar. You bore me. 
At least we're gonna have lots of food. Cut down a real tree, huh? Ooh, look at this. Got two of them together. Uh, no, it does not. Timber! And because the physics, notice it's doing damage to other things as it's falling. Ah. What is up, Mr. True Flat? How you doing, buddy? Oh, come here. Gather up all this stuff. I've got this other log here. On the way home. Nice. I'm already home. <laughs> Alright, then we get this tree here. Oh, no, it didn't hit me. All right. Yeah. And food acts differently in this game. And I really, really dig it. Instead of eating to, uh, to survive, like, oh, you have to, you know, have so much food or you die. This gives you a minimum of hit points. As you can see in the lower left hand corner. Uh, you see that I have 25 hit points right now. And uh, basically, food boosts your health, your potential health, how much health you can have. So it's a very different aspect. Uh, to uh, have the whole survival idea. All right, time for the hammer again. And now let's just put a, a lovely little Something did not build right, but that's all right. There we go. That should be good. Uh, let's build a fire and we'll kind of put it right here. There we go. And you don't have to worry about the fire catching your house on fire. So that's good. And then we just need to build a bed. And we can sleep until morning. There we go. Our lovely little crazy weird looking lean-to. But if we get under here. I think I may need to put walls on this side. I don't know what the hell happened. Something did not build right. It's all right, though. Uh, most of your building supplies um, will be returned, so that's good. There. Yeah, now I, I'm, I've got the fire bonus. I'm now resting. Yeah, see, my comfort level's four. I'm sheltered. All the good things. And because there's enough room for the smoke to go out, I'm not going to smoke myself out. So let's go ahead and claim our bed. We're going to sleep for the night. Wake up in the morning. Uh, 
A chain reaction killed a deer and a boar at the same time earlier today while cutting trees. Nice. I tricked a, a troll that was using a, um, a big old tree log that he was swinging around into cutting down a bunch of trees for me. So that worked out well. All right. So it's now daytime. Uh, we rested and we get a rested bonus. Our, our rested bonus is uh, you feel rested. Health and stamina regeneration is higher. We get a, a health regen of plus 50% and a stamina regen of plus 100%. And uh, ignore this power here. This is because I'm playing uh, my character that's already uh, killed the first boss. But while we're here, uh, let's go ahead and pull out our hammer. And we want... A fire pit. We'll actually do two of them. There we go. Put that away. Get those loaded up. So we can get some some hit point action going on here. And we already had a bunch of meat. How much more do we have? Oh, two more raw. Oh, plus the, the neck tails. Nice. Gotta wait for the sizzle. If you leave the food on too long, it will actually uh, turn into charcoal. So have to be careful about that and you can set yourself on fire by getting too close to your campfire I do that often all right that's the last one so you can eat three food items at a time. They just can't be the same thing. So I could eat a mushroom, um, a cooked meat, and a cooked neck tail. And those would be the three things that I could eat for the, for the time being. And then uh, they each have a certain... Uh, here we go. Uh, so the cooked meat uh, weighs a pound a piece, gives me 40 health. 30 stamina lasts for 1200 seconds and gives a healing of two HP per tick. Uh, the grilled neck tail, uh, does 35 health, 20 stamina lasts for a thousand seconds and gives two HP per tick. So we're going to go ahead and eat both of those. As you can see down here, my total health bar grew and you can see the brown and the gold. Uh, represents the uh, the different food items that I ate. So I'll slowly start gaining back more health. All right, I can quit crouching now. Now, we can't use the workbench while it's outside, like to actually like go into the workbench. So as you can see, it says it needs a roof. So we'll, what we'll go do is we will get rid of this one and we'll just build a new one. Come on, get up there. All right, so these are all the things that we can make now. So I think we want to make ourselves, uh, how much leather scrap do we have? We only have seven. So I guess we can make ourselves a tunic. There we go. Uh, we'll go ahead and make our flint axe now to replace our normal stone axe because that's better. And uh, there we go. I guess we need a hoe. Oh, 
Oh, what did you retract, Barbarian? And, um, might as well make a torch. What is going on? Games, hobbies, and toys? How you doing, brother? <laughs> Have you played this at all, by the way? Uh, let's make... Oh, how am I getting smoked out? There is enough room for that smoke to get out of there. It's all right. We're going to tear all this down anyway. So. All right, nice. All right, so we've got ourselves a full complement of tools now. So, like, the hoe actually has three things. It can level ground, raise ground, but you need stones to do that, or create a path. So uh, we'll use this, and whatever level you're standing on, like if I'm standing here, then this will level it all out roughly to the same height that I'm standing at. So, works well for... I've got to wait for my stamina to come back. Yeah, it is, and I mean, it, this game is great for for what it is. I will be playing this a single playthrough a lot longer than I will most AAA titles. See, we're going to have us a nice space up here on this hill. And you can actually do this throughout the world if you wanted to. You don't have to be within your build area is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, as you can tell, now we've got a much better building area here. Let's go ahead and clean up this front a little bit. Now we can build like a proper house. You're digging it. <laughs> oh, I see what you did there, Russ. <laughs> All right. This is feeling a whole lot better about this now. slowly chip away at this little hill here. Well, you can thank Mr. Marcus because uh, not only... Oh, my uh, hoe ran out of uh, go juice. Alright, I definitely got to build some Frickin' stairs. Just so I can tear them down. There. Yes, please repair everything. There we go. Oh, in depth. Oh, that hurts. I'm going to beat this little hill into submission. And when all else fails, we can always just pull this out and uh, fix that problem right now. Eh. 
There. Much better. Uh, never had a good thing when a hell runs out. <laughs> yeah, what's up, Baba Ganesh? Welcome. Oh, yeah, we are. Let's get these rocks out of the way. Never prepay for nothing. How did I find the deer boss? Um, actually at the, uh, where you're initially dropped off, uh, where you would hang the heads, there's a little red stone, uh, next to all the pillars and you click that and it will highlight, uh, where, uh, the boss is. Uh, now this character, um, I just brought over from, uh, from my, my initial playthrough. I stripped him of most all of his equipment. You don't want none of me, son. I'm telling you. Told you. Oh, I thought he, the first time I fought him, I was like, oh my God, I died actually the first time I fought him. Oh, crushed him. All right, we've got a bunch of stone now. Let's go ahead and get the rest of this cleared out. Just trying to get a, a an eyeball for how I want to build this thing here. But yeah, once I learned the mechanics of them, uh, it wasn't too bad. Ah, uh, you were right. I didn't. There we go. Me in my little dress now. At uh, difficult because I wasn't as prepared as I should have been. That's that was my big difficulty with the first boss. Yeah, definitely that one armor. Uh, yeah, I think so, Marcus. Come on, guys. We're getting stoned in Valheim. All right. This looks like a great building plot for our house. Of course, we're going to need... Um, a shit ton more wood. <laughs> there, that's a little bit better. Uh, no, I don't. Um, even in my other character, I just... Honestly, I totally forgot about building it. So it's just one of those things. All right, I need to fix this, so. And until we get more wood, this is gonna be our, kind of our shack du jour, so. Might as well make it right. How far are you get into it, Mike? Come on, get there. Oh. Doesn't help that I'm so far down. There we go. Actually, I need to fix all these walls anyway. You remember they were broken last night? Is 
is my my oh yeah my weight yep that'd do it no you don't want that all right come on back Now we will fix our walls. Uh, for most things, yes. Invalid placement, why? Is it because of the bench? Oh no, I got it this time, there we go. Yeah, for, for most things that you break, because there is no move mechanic. I've been told that there are things that don't, but um, I have not yet found them. Get the rest of this wood here. I'm doing well, Russ. Thank you for asking. Uh, I'm glad to be back at work. Um, I, for those of you that don't know, um, my nephew um, tested positive for COVID. And because I was in contact with my sister recently, uh, having to deal with that all that stuff with my mom, um, I had to uh, not go to work. So, all right. So we've got some tall walls. Now, why did I go tall walls? Oh, because I want to put it in this freaking door. It's like a proper door, not that itty bitty little half door. And now I'm out of wood. Yes, I'm out of wood. It's actually called a gate, but that's all right. Out of wood again. Damn it. Oh, sorry to hear that, Baba Ganoush. I ended up testing negative for it. So thank God, because I would have had to be without work for longer. Oh crap, it's gonna run me over. Oh! Oh, that little, <laughs> the little raspberry bush stopped it. Oh, dude, come on. I'm just trying to cut down my wood here. Yeah, got run over by a tree. Uh, she's doing good. I talked to her um, the other day and she got a stomach bug. In addition to falling and breaking her clavicle. So, <laughs> so yeah. So she's sitting there puking the poor thing. And, uh, with a broken clavicle. So when it rains, it pours kind of a thing. Oh, and she had stomach surgery like two months ago. 
Oh, they went opposite directions. Fair enough. Yeah, no. <laughs> Gotta be careful. I really need to build a... A chest or two. Alright, actually, you know the first thing that I want to build? Before we do anything else. Get some torch action going. <laughs> it doesn't help much, but it helps a little bit. Sorry, I'm just reading through uh, the chat really quick. Yeah, I don't go much nowhere either, but uh, let's go with actually the 26 degree thatched roof here. I have to go inside. And there's the outside corner. All right, we'll get one over here now. There we go. And then get this last one maneuver around the fire without burning my ass off. Oh, kiss my butt. All right. We will just have to make do. We will make this do. Spin this around like that. Go put this one in and then we should be able to put in our corner piece now. There we go. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our little half walls here and stick them up here. Make sure I don't walk into the fire. Grab our little... I'm missing components. Need too freaking wood but we're almost done at least this place will be secure we won't get wet that kind of a thing up here uh just a rock what's up slight there's some wood there's some wood might as well get the rest of this We'll call it a night. There we go. See, now it's venting properly. All right. Position that. And there we go. So now it's there's enough room there for the smoke to go out and we won't get smoked out but we can still uh, be nice and safe and cozy in here what's up easy dude this is a ridiculously fun game for 20 bucks <laughs> and, and truth be told i did not pay 20 dollars for this game uh, i want to put that out there i did not purchase this game it was gifted to me by uh, Senor Marcus, actually. He uh, thought I would really enjoy the game, and 
he knows what my current financial situation is. So he's like, dude, you'll love this game. So I watched a couple of videos. I'm like, dude, that's pretty awesome. And then he just sent me the game on Steam. So thank you, Marcus, for that. Uh, all right. So it is now morning, day three. Uh, we have our little cabin on the hill. We need to go start killing some crap. That's what we need to do. I need some wood to make arrows. But the thing is, is that I would absolutely pay 20 bucks for this game. And you do not need a high powered machine to run this thing. Let me tell you. That, that weird yipping sound that you hear is the, the deer. All right, next order of business, build a freaking chest. All right, and let's see here, furniture, chest, stick one over there for now, and then might as well put one here. And put one there. There. Now at least we have, uh, oh yeah, places to put stuff. Yes, I do. But considering I'm going to be tearing all of this down at some point, I'm not really worried about stacking chests at this point. Um, let's see, where's all of our weight at? Oh. 50 rocks. Yeah, there's 100 pounds right there. <laughs> well, there's your problem. <laughs> Tuck all the heads away. Um, actually, we might need that for right now. Oh, yeah. Plus another 46 rocks over here. Actually, let's keep that out. Um... Let's make, oh, because I have no wood. That's right. Because I never have any freaking wood. A uh, true's not leaving. He's just saying that he's off. You're not leaving, are you, true? Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Like, True just got here. Uh, it was one of those invisible branches. Ah! He stopped walking. Now he's going to come over here and be all pissy with me. Oh, that's more than I have wanted to know about True. Oh, I didn't get rid of the rocks. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. Oh, don't mind me. Yes. That's why I shoot them whenever I can. All right. So, um, let's go into build mode. Put a miscellaneous rock pile there. There's 50 rocks. And uh, we'll have to store the other ones. The other 46 right now. 
actually, since we're in the build area, I can just come in here. There we go. There's 46 rocks on the ground. It is the house on a hill. Got to pick up some raspberries. Looks like our, our neck tail is going to run out here too. So let's go ahead and eat that. Eat that. There we go. Oh, look what we have here. Okay. I didn't even notice it at first. You see how this rock formation is kind of shaped like a boat? Well, in here, once you get the pickaxe, which mine's about to break, funny enough, uh, you can actually, um, there's treasure buried in here. So, I guess we'll just dig until, oh, look at that. Oh, could I have gotten it any better? <laughs> now, there is some, I'm going to finish digging this thing out. But, uh, yeah, there's typically a chest. Uh, some skeletal remains and some other things that are located in here. But we just found 30 coins, two amber pearls, and 13 fire arrows. Hell yeah, that's an incredible find. Uh, so yeah, we'll keep digging. Yeah, it must be. And yeah, there's some... Get out of the way. There we go. You need uh, bone fragments for stuff, so. Oh, yeah. Gotta love a good treasure hunt. Yeah, now it's broke. So we'll fix it really quick. This is the repair button. It costs nothing to repair stuff. So. No, no evil spirits. Then I'll be stacking other kinds of rocks. Yeah, so the more your health, uh, the more stuff that you eat, because it increases your stamina as well. So um, my stamina bar, I can now run farther and stuff like that just because... I have food in my belly. Oh, and by the way, this is multiplayer. You can do co-op up to 10 people on a server. So I forgot to mention that earlier. So if you guys enjoy this kind of content and want to see me streaming more of it, then I know Marcus would, uh, would definitely enjoy uh, jumping in and uh, playing. And I can just treat this this server as like the community seed uh there is pvp but you can turn it off because you can open up that server not put a password put a password whatever and you know make it like a public server too i'm not finding anything else in here oh there's some coins there we go, got some more coins. But yeah, up to 10 people. I thought that was pretty crazy. Imagine when I go to take on like the, the second boss, especially, I'm probably gonna want some help. Or I'm just gonna cheese the shit out of it. Yeah, it's as simple as like clicking one little button 
right in your options menu. There's some more bones. That's probably all we're going to find in here, but I'll go ahead and finish clearing it out. And there's crypts and dungeons and troll caves and... Alright, I think I've done a pretty good job. I don't think I'm going to find anything else in here. I've wore out this antler pickaxe, though. Because it is almost broken again. And this is not a, a hurry up and finish it kind of a game either. There is... There is so much this game that we haven't even scratched yet. And they have a roadmap laid out. They actually have five expansions. Uh, at least four expansions this year planned. So it's, a, of, of course, small development team kind of a thing. Like most of these games we've been playing. Yeah, there went the pickaxe. All right, let's repair that again. There we go. Okay, so we found some treasure. I am going to re... Uh, do I have any more rock? I do. Okay, so let's pick this up. Then we'll come in here and make another pile. There we go. And then we will drop that there. Don't roll too far. We're close to the water. And you can put down multiple workbenches, so, which I'll probably end up doing because I want to do like a really cool massive complex, right? And I want to have a boat dock down there. So all, and of course you need to put down a workbench so you can build in the area. So I'll end up putting out like a boat dock or something like that down there so that we can uh, dock our boat. But uh, we have been doing a lot of 42 out of 50. What's my weight at? 122. Let's go dump this stuff off really quick. Let's get rid of the coins and the amber bits. It's totally not organized. That's all right. Um, actually, I should be able to make more fire arrows now because I have feathers, amber, and wood. What do I need for fire arrows? Oh, I need level two. That might help. Ten flint. Okay. Let's go get some flint so that we can uh, upgrade our workbench and um, do other things. Flint is always found uh, next to the water. It's the lighter color rock. Oh, yeah. I was playing last night and like I didn't stop. I just kept going. It was nighttime, didn't care. Just kept going. I was like, I am going to max out my uh, my storage or what I could carry. I came back with like 50 meat to cook. Get wrecked! Come on, Ugh, get you some of that!
Flint, yes, that's what I was after. I just wanted a little peace and quiet. They wouldn't shut up. I could eat another bite. Let's go ahead and do that. Eat. Eat. And I don't have any more cooked neck tail, but that's all right. It's not like I'm fighting anything that I'm worried about right now. If I die by boar, I'm just going to turn off the stream. I will never stream again. <laughs> Ah, well, there's a boar. It, the pickup system is weird. Where'd that other boar go? Like you click on it, but if you're, if it's too far away, here, let me see if I can demonstrate this. So I plucked it out of the ground, but I didn't actually pick it up. I have to be close enough, and then it'll automatically pick it up. So you could end up chasing a rock down a hill or something if you plucked it incorrectly. Um, I haven't in a long time. Uh, it's been, God, 15 years. But yeah, boar hunting is a lot of fun. Um, I do like, like sometimes my mom will call me and she's like, "Hey, your stepdad, uh, the, we've got some boars in the in the pasture that are tearing stuff up. You want to come over?" And I'll be like, "Hell yeah!" You know. And then we just kind of sit around, drink beer, and just shoot at pigs. <laughs> you know. So ah. Oh. And he ran away. All right, how much flint do I have? 14. All right, we have enough flint. But while we got daylight, we might as well come out here and make the most of it, right? They're like frogs with like longer legs. I know, free... Oh, yeah, that is very true. I have a buddy that's what he does is uh, he does West Texas uh, hog hunts and for the really really like rich well to do's they'll actually go up in the helicopter and go hunting that way and before anyone goes well what the hell are you doing you know what, what are you talking about um, hogs in Texas are a, a blight uh, they breed so quickly and they destroy farmland and they just destroy everything. And it is always open season for hogs in, here in Texas. So. Oh, that's a long shot right there. Let's see if I can get him. That's a hell of a shot, especially with this crude ass bow. Oh, <laughs> yes. Are they bad in Florida too, Russ? I didn't know that. Yeah, out in West Texas, there are, um, like, you can, like, go hog hunting for the day, and they have, like, a mounted, 
like mini gun mounted on this thing and you could just go to town. It's ridiculous. And they, they move in herds. So, and you can actually like follow the herds and, and it, just by the devastation. What are you doing way over there? Ah, uh, he's swimming way over there too. All right. Getting a little dark. What's funny is that you can actually uh, tame the boars in this game. And if you put a couple of them in a pen for a little bit, they'll have like little hearts show up over their heads. And then all of a sudden you get another boar. Got me a one star deer. More rock piles. What? Oh, only 44. Ugh. All right, let's go cook up dinner. Get inside our cozy little hut here. Close the door. Yeah, rabbits breed like rabbits. Yeah, that they do. Want to welcome everyone that's not in the chat. Uh, welcome, everybody. If you're new around here, I'm Draco Invictus. I play all kinds of games. We're checking out Valheim. Well, I'm letting you guys see Valheim. I've been checking it out for the past few days. I've put like close to 30 hours in this game in the last couple of days. So. It's on early access on Steam. Uh, there is talk of potentially coming to console at some point. But uh, like I said at the beginning of this thing, uh, this game is so... Its system requirements are so small that you could pretty much play this thing on a potato that's plugged into a... Uh, Plugged into a monitor, so. Literally the entire game file is one gigabyte. You could install this on a flash drive. <laughs> like a little thumbstick. Did I get that one? I think, I guess I did, yeah. That one dropped down there on the ground.
There we go. All right. So uh, let's go ahead and eat a necktail. Put some stuff away. Uh, we did. Uh, I'll, I'm going to hold it onto the flint because we're going to want that in the morning. So we can go to level two for our workbench. And it's morning. Day four. All right. We want the chopping block. It has to be somewhat close to your workbench. I'm just going to put it out here. There we go. Now we can uh, upgrade stuff. We can build level two stuff, all that good thing. So. Let's put that away. There we go. See, now we can build all of our arrows. Come in. All right, so that's it for the fire arrows, but we can build uh, some flint heads. We can make 40 of those. I ra oh, I ran out of feathers. And then we'll uh, just make some wooden arrows. I don't need to be wasting flaming arrows on boars and deer. All right. So what is it going to take? We need leather pants. We need six deer hide. Oh, we've got that. So we can make leather pants, which we need. Leather helmet, which we need. There we go. So now we're getting all geared up here. Let's go ahead and move this stuff around. Uh, we've got uh, a bunch of foodstuffs. I'd be damned if we couldn't go take on the, uh, the, the first boss right now I mean I've got 70 90 arrows I've got the two antlers that I need I've got food yeah let's tuck all this away There we go. All right. Let's go do that, huh? Take a look at our map. So this one is actually closer to us. So that is the way we are going to head. And let's go ahead and eat, eat. There we go. Get our HP up. And I've been purposely not using the ability that I already have uh, simply because that's the ability that we're going to get from this boss. So no undue advantage there. Might as well pick up some more raspberries. The snozberries taste like snozberries. <laughs> At least someone got in. All right. So Marcus says that if you stumble upon one of these altars and then you just read this thing, that it'll actually show up on your map. Let's see. Hunt his kin. 
It did not. No, it's still my little dot there. All right. Let's see, we're as healthy as we can get. Uh, let's pull out our bow. We're going to start with the flaming arrows. Yeah. We'll go from there. Oh, I got to move this to there. Run! <laughs> Get in the early shots when he's spawning in. Oh shit, stuck on a log. Yeah, this is the first boss. He is a lightning... Ow. Where are you going? Ah, damn it, ran out of stamina. And once he's spawned in, he stays spawned in. Ah, he's almost dead. You be dead, dude. There you go. See you, buddy. Pick up his trophy, right? Thank you, thank you. Now we want to head back down to... Um, which is what? Straight south of us, pretty much. And now we got to go hang his trophy up. <laughs> You're 30, yeah, 34 wood arrows. I, you didn't walk in there with just 34 arrows, though. Did you? That's all you had? Oh, you made, okay. You made 100. Gotcha. But that, it only took you 34 arrows to do it. Might as well. Ah, I was supposed to release it, didn't. All right, so now we have to hang the trophy that we just got from him onto this rock.
Boom. That's the easy boss down. And then normally, if you're starting with a brand new character, you come up and you'd activate the power because you only have the one available. And then you get the power that I have. It's the power of Ekthir, which does your ability to run and jump is improved. Your jump stamina usage is not minus 60% and your run stamina usage is minus 60%. It lasts for five minutes, but has a 20 minute cooldown. So, and while we're in this screen, exactly, Barbarian. Uh, I, I said that you level, but we don't level in this game. Uh, everything that you do has a, an acquired skill. And basically you just get better with those skills as you do the thing. So cutting wood, I'm at level 26. Using knives, I'm at level 26. Blocking, I'm at level zero because, well, I've never made a shield or blocked anything. So, And then pole arms and swords, I haven't even built yet. So, um, but yeah, so you, you get levels up. I'm not sure what you get for leveling up. Uh, there's no, I can't click on anything and you get a bonus. It tells you what the bonus is or anything like that. So, and you can redo fighting Ekthir at any time. As long as you have the two deer trophies, then you can um, find his one of his little altar things. Oh, overshot him. Find one of his altar things and just fight him again. Because what you get is you get three hard antlers. And that is what you need to make the antler pickaxe. So you, you don't get a pickaxe. You can't dig in the ground at all uh, because the hoe just does the leveling. The pickaxe actually allows you to break up rock and dig down. So, All right. Let us continue on our crazy journey here. Let's do a wee bit of exploring. It is getting later in the day, I suppose. Oh, hello. You can always use leather strap or leather scraps. That's what it is. It's used in so many things. There's several different biomes in the game right now we're in the meadows as you can see on, on the mini map it says meadows up there there's also the black forest uh the plains the mountains and the swamp oh look at this mushrooms nice mushrooms are good for eating i uh, don't need to cook them they're a little bit better than the raspberries are but you can also use mushrooms to uh, tame the uh, the boar. Oh, did I miss it? I guess I did. There we go. Got the resin. It's always low and to the left. Oh, that one was too far. He's a one star deer. Basically, you'll see uh, one and two star creatures. And it just means that you, you typically get more of whatever they would drop. 
and um, you have a chance of a greater chance of getting a trophy from them. That's all that means. I do like the pickup system like this where you can kind of just walk over stuff. That's nice. You don't have to stomp and pick everything up. I that's because the wind's blown the wrong way. And yes, that does come into into play. Another one way over there. Ah, spooked him. Damn it. You can do a better bow. Let's eat a mushroom. There we go. I just don't have the materials to build a better bow yet. Not even close. Legolas is going to come kick my ass. All right. Whoa. It's the Great Divide. Yes, fine wood. Which is birch. No, yes, birch. But you need a metal axe to cut it down. Well, hello there, piggy piggy. Got three of them right there? Or are those two rocks? Nope. They're not. I don't want to chase them down this mountain. Come and get me. Uh, it's a whole lot better. No, you can't. Because uh, the troll may knock it down, but you still can't cut it even at, when it's laying on the ground as a log. Oh, look what we found here. Another boat. All right, let's see. That's the front. This is the rear. That chest is like right here. Oh, found some bones. Them bones, them bones. Oops. That's just a rock. Wow, that's crazy. Man, I wasn't even close. Or I just didn't dig deep enough. Oh yeah, I bet. The trolls are a big enough pain in the ass as they are. And if he was using it to, to get at Beechwood, it means that he wasn't geared up to, you know, he wasn't like OP against the troll.
Come on, treasure chest, where are you? Found some more bones. There we go. Oh, got a log. That's not, that doesn't help. Oh, there it is. Ooh, got us a necklace and 11 more fire arrows. Nice. Oh, what, what just flashed? I don't know. All right. This stone is what flashed. That's entirely possible. All right, so I guess we need to head home. It's getting to be night. Oh, we got another deer. Got two of them. I didn't, at least everything didn't roll down the damn hill. Like a little creek here. Alright. I guess we had already found that part of the creek. The hell was that? Oh. Give me my resin. Ow! Come here! What are you doing down here anyway? He's running away because I have the torch out. Give me your eye. Oh, you want some? Come on. Trying to come down here and talk a big game. Bring it. <laughs> hey, they came at me. I must have walked around it. Yeah, because I can't I can't see why they would come down here. But I can't imagine that the, just this little area here is Black Forest. That would be really, really weird. Because this is all meadows up here. I don't know. It's weird.
Nope, I'll still meadows. Get rid of this fog on the mini map though. At least most of it. Alright, that's good enough. Hello, Rock. God, there are so much. But for meadows, this is a lot of damn trees. See, this is birch. It gives us fine wood. Yeah, it is strange, but what of? Oh yeah, we already dug that one out. Hey, we're home. You want some of this? I guess he did. All right. Um, we'll pick this up again so that we can try and place it down again. We're just going to build walls just out of piles of rock. That's what we're going to do. We have a ton more food to eat. Did our fire go out? It. There we go. Get this cooked up. Sounds weird. Just sitting here cooking. All right, we're almost done cooking. There we go. Let's go ahead and repair all of our stuff while we're. I think I have that. I've really got to start working on getting stuff organized. Let's just rest. Comfort four, not bad for our little shack here. All right, so. Let's grab. Yeah, we only have one flint. Get nothing in that chest. That's funny. Uh, 
Oh, there we go. There's a few more flint. Go ahead and grab the resin. I'm just kind of filling. Uh, those we don't need right now. The gray dwarf eyes. All right. So. What can we make? I need four flint. To make a flint knife. Aha! I knew I had another one rolling around somewhere. Let's tuck all this away. Don't need any of that. There. Now I can make a flint knife. All right, let's see what we can do for upgrades here. So we can upgrade a rag tunic. I'm not worried about that. We can upgrade our stone axe. Don't need it. Hammer, meh. Hoe, meh. I need two more flint to upgrade my flint knife. My bow is not going anywhere until I get up to level four. All right. All right, Marcus, have a great night, buddy. Thanks for stopping in. Thanks for everything. Um, all right. So. I want to clear out inventory. Have as much room as possible here. Let's, um. I uh, know, we'll hold on to those. It's just, yeah, regular wood arrows. Actually, let's hold on to that. Tuck that away. There. Because we're going to go cut down some wood. Actually, we can dump some more stuff to, as well. Let's get rid of that. Don't need it. Um, let's move that over there. There we go. All right. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Make sure it doesn't come back and hit me in the head.
just leveling up the crap out of my my axe handling skills here. That thing gonna roll all the way down the damn hill? Nope, it stopped. We must be at capacity at 300 pounds. All right. I want to welcome new viewers. We are day four, I think. Oh, I moved it. There we go. Mark Jackson, how you doing, buddy? Oh, I didn't know I was playing this game until Marcus was like, dude, you need to check this shit out. Thirty-two. There we go. Hell yeah, this is like a builder's paradise, Mark. Yeah, it is. Oh, axe is done. All right. How much we got? 39. That's a shame. Oh, let's see if we can't get a full 50. Forty two. Yeah, this is actually a lot of game. Actually, just say this flint knife is probably faster. I mean, not as fast as the axe, but much faster than punching. That's for damn sure. All right, there we go. I don't remember shutting the door. How weird. There. That's done. Now I shut the door. I think you should pick this up, Drew. How many do I have? Two. Alright. So let's put the hammer away. Pick that up. And then we will drop it again. There we go. Dude, 
Dude, go to a pawn shop. Damn near any PC that they have at a pawn shop for 50 bucks will play this game. Ooh, it's a twofer. Gotta go for the twofer, right? Oh, look, it took out that other one. Nice. That's what you always hope for. Just means less chopping. Dude, that's plenty of money for a PC. Buy the parts and be done with it. Twenty nine. Mark, how's my kids? You doing all right? That worked out well. Damn it. Fine, I'll come over here. One eighty eight, nice. Oh. <laughs> That's definitely a plus. Two sixty seven, two eighty one, two eighty five. Oh, my axe is broke again. All right, guess we'll call that enough for now. I can sharpen my axe again. Oh, uh, look at him. He's all sad. Oh, look at me. I'm so sad. Nice. Four left. All right. Huh. Yeah, just throw it up there. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So 304 pieces of wood. I think that's a good start. Let's start laying this thing out. I guess we'll start on the 
far side just to see how far we go. Two forty five plus that. All right, two fifty three. All right, so we'll start. So we'll start here. I'm gonna have to build another workbench, though. Actually, if I build it right to that takes it right to the edge there. I'm just going to plop it down right here. And hopefully it doesn't get in the way. I'm sure it will. Ladies and gentlemen, the last few people that are playing Fallout 76 right here in chat. Can you believe it? It's shocking. <laughs> All right. So we are going to go with a wood pole. Right here. Oh, I don't like that rotation. I guess that's, I guess that's right. Uh oh, sun's starting to set. All right. So wood pole. There we go. That's it. That's the new house. All right, then we're gonna put this beam here. Four and that see how it turns red if I went to build another one here I'll show you guys so this is this is how in-depth the game is okay because everything is resting on that one pole right so of course in real life you'd be like no way you couldn't build this shit out and well they did the same thing in the game he goes nope you're not doing that so it, you have to keep tying it back into the ground. So that should go there. So now if you look at the colors of them, they're all green again. Because now they're tied into this and that. And that one's now orange. So that's how that all works. All right, five wide. And no, you don't need to build like this, but I'm wanting to, so that's why I'm building like this. <laughs> oh, that didn't come out right, did it? There we go. See, and that's not actually touching the ground. That's why it was still orange. So we dip down here, so I need to... Ah, it's just too damn hard to see at night.
dream of a great tree reaching out through the night. Oh, that's something that I haven't shown you guys. It's the great tree. <laughs> We're at the base of the tree of life, so. All right, it should start lighting up here pretty quickly. I'm now debating whether five is wide enough. It should be wide enough. All right. Let's grab seven. There. Now it's blue. Yay! Oops. Wrong button. Come on. No. Ah, good. Here comes the sun. I don't think... I don't think we can actually sink these down. Now, see, I can stack it on top, or I can do it on the side, but not down. I mean, I could do it like that. See, that one's blue down at the bottom. <laughs> it's kind of crappy, but whatever. Alright, so what are we at now? Let's see, one, two, three, six, nine. Oh, there we go. It's, it does sink down. Look at that. That's perfect. Even better. All right. So that is 10, 11, 12. I could not have planned that shit better. <laughs> Wow, that's crazy. Now this will go a whole lot faster now that I have daylight, huh? No, not going to do it. good enough for me as long as it works right
Now we need the long one. Blocked. I've been cocked, blocked. All right, I'm not going to um, probably finish this off today, but anyway. Yeah, what are you doing for work, True? Okay, so. <laughs> so you just took a vacation then. All right. Um, that's good. Let's bring out that. I need rock. I got that too. That should be good enough. That one's a little high. That one's all right. Because we're sl slightly sloping down. All right, so if we come over here, let's see if I can do this. This is a good height, actually. So let's come back over to our flattening tool here. There we go. Perfect. That'll work.
get up here. All right. Next on our agenda. Oops. There we go. My hammer done broke. Oh, I can't do it with that one. I have to do it with this one. It's fan. Oh, it's fantastic random. How you doing, buddy? All right, let's back into hammer mode here. I know a good psychiatrist. Missing requirements. Yep, out of wood. You're already seeing one. Well, that's good. That's a good thing. Sometimes we all need a little help. So three, six, nine, and then we'll do 12. Uh, that'll put that the last pit at the end. I don't know that I want it at the end. I think I'll go 14. So I'll go two more past here. So that it's symmetrical, but it looks even. There's Dawn. I was like, where, where's Dawn? I had to scroll up. Welcome, Dawn. That boar has been wandering around down there. It's just driving me crazy. Do I have no arrows? No, I do. Nope, it's 
Damn it. Can't wait till I get a better bow. All right. So. I got him this time. And here comes the rain again. Uh, you guys haven't actually seen the rain yet. Okay, so let's, um, I mean, we're going to get wet anyway, so we might as well just work out here. What else we got here? Uh, how much wood do I have? 80 sticks and then we're done. Okay. So. Put up some poles. This rain is ridiculous. Oh, I'm out of work. There we go. Back in work pinch zone here. All right. So I think I want to go. Let's put this down. Is it too high that I want to do it? Or is it one and a half? I think it's one and a half that I want to do it. Oh, they did a fantastic job. Yeah, one and a half. So I'll do, yeah, okay. There, now I got a window. Okay, so now that I know the pattern, I'm just going to continue working here in the rain. Might as well, right? Out of wood? Oh, out of workbench. <laughs> out of range. Come on, get there. Uh, there it is, got it. All right, to small walls now. 
See, right now it's still just saying that uh, even though I can barely see what the hell I'm doing. I'm not cold yet, so it's not technically dark out, even though it's dark for us. There we go. What happened here? There, that's better. Oh, it's dark now. Come on, get up there. There we go. Ah, I'm just too far away because I took out the workbench that I had, had placed down here. So, all right. Well, now that it's nighttime, I suppose we can go inside now that I got that done. dried off Got everything repaired again. Oh yeah, and look, we only had four pieces of wood left. We were done anyway. All right. Hopefully it won't be raining in the morning. Sounds like it's still raining. Does not look uh, pleasant out there. No? Hey, look at that. I? Oh, I should have come and got it last night. It went away. Remember that boar that I shot over here last night? I'm not seeing the little sparklies. All right, so, well, we don't have any wood left anyway. There's the foundation for a proper house. Let's do that. This is going to rest down inside there. that and we have enough to put in our second one there we go
All right. All right, all right, all right. What else can we do in here right now? Um, not much. We are like out of stuff. No wood. Thanks, Mark. It's getting there. And there are so many different building materials with all the beams and like the cross, the, the wood roof cross 45s and the 26 degrees. Yeah, it's, and this is just the wood stuff. This isn't even counting the stone that we haven't even gotten to yet. So, all right. So we've done enough building. I do need to take a quick bio break because I've been sitting in this chair for uh, two hours and 40 minutes. Well, longer than that, but anyway, so we're going to take a quick break and um, there's no real way to pause this game. Look at those boars just sitting down there. So um, I'm just going to, but I hate to waste this daylight. All right. So I guess I am just going to do a quick log out because there is no pause. Thanks, Don. And I will uh, be back in uh, just a second here. So enjoy the music and I'll be right back.
All right, and I am back. So we'll turn off the be right back. There we go. Jump back into the game. Thank you, thank you. Oh, he's a beam sitter. Who knew? All right, so let's uh, let's eat some food here, and uh, let's go do something, huh? Oh, we probably need to put that away. What do we got? We got everything that we need. We can store the rest of this stuff. even got beach seeds so later when we uh when we can plant stuff we can uh plant some more trees that we can then cut back down and replant so all right Ah! Where's that other one? Oh, here it was. There we go. Okay, so what do we need? Um, do, do, do. We need to find the Black Forest is what we need to do. So let's take a look at our map. Oh, God, which direction do we want to go? I guess we can just head down the coast this way and figure it out. He's gonna go swimming, damn it. Did I get that other one? Oh, he totally juked me. There we go. Where'd the other one go? There was two over here.
Well, that's easier. Let's just do that. Thank you, Russ. Oh, do we have another boat? We have another boat. All right, let's get these trees out of the way. And logs. need the lumber anyway, right? All right. So, that's the front, that's the back. Where do we want to dig first? Guess might as well start right here. Oh, we found water. Got some bones. There it is. Nice. Got some coinage. Apparently, I'm not going to find anything else. Oh, there it is. Other skeleton bone. All right. Yeah, I was going to follow the coast, but as you can see, this cuts back. So I guess we'll just keep heading up this way. Oh, come on. Now in the Black Forest. Hey, don't be throwing your shit at me. It's not very Black Foresty though. It's kind of like mountainy.
Yeah, see, now we're back in meadows, so hopefully going this direction. Nope. Back in meadows. Shit. Well, that's not cool. Oh, found us in a little structure here. There's our chest. So we got some amber, more coins, and more flint. Nice. And the shroom loving hippies. Oh, now we're back in Black Forest. Now we're black and met. Are you kidding? The ditch is Black Forest. Really? That's not cool. That actually sucks. Oh, this really, really sucks. Well, let's just keep going. Back in meadow. Wow. looking for well one of the many things we're looking for well thank you true I really appreciate that man that means I get to fix my uh, my end credits Tin is heavy. Notice I have six of them. They weigh 48 pounds. Two seventy six. Oh, yeah, I'm going to be hosed here momentarily. Yeah, that one has to stay. Well, let's see. Unless I wanted to drop some. Oh, I could drop some rocks. There we go. The tin is much more important. <gasps> Ooh, copper too? Oh, heaven forbid.
Give me more copper, damn it. There we go. So we've got two copper ore. And we're at 300 pounds again. 284. Alright, keep going. Yep, and it's time to go home. <laughs> but what I am going to do is um, I'm gonna swing in here and I'm gonna drop a little dot there and say um, copper ore. There we go. And it's getting dark. Get up this mountain here. Ah, uh, crap. Stop sliding. Get away from my stamina to rebuild. I love uh, procedurally generated maps, huh? Got it. All right, cool. And we're at 296 pounds. See, three of those weigh a pound and a half. I could probably just max out. Let's grab a yield bow. All I did was scare them. I feel cold. Two ninety nine. Woo wee. All right, time to head home. Hello. Oh, that's perfect. Oops, higher. Who the hell is shooting at me? All right, so the bees are gone. Except for, uh, let's grab the honey. And uh, let's go in here. Oh, is that her? There she is. The queen bee. I will make room for the queen bee. Um, can I eat that yet? No. Damn it. I don't even know how much time left I have left. Um, what am I going to drop? What am I going to drop. I am going to drop. Oh, there it goes. There. All right. Got the queen bee. Perfect. Now we can do a beehive. Oh, shit. That means there's a crypt around here. If there's skeletons, that means there's a crypt. Damn it. Woo -wee. Oh, is it right here? 
It sure is. Arrow. <gasps> I didn't want to actually go in. <laughs> no. Um, let's go with, uh, I don't know, that. Burial chamber. We are definitely coming back there in the morning. Let's um, put our torch back out. And all kinds of shit went down. Oh! Yeah, we don't have the health for that. Yeah, not for a brute. Dick. All right, let's just head back to the house. There's a ton of stuff going on up there, though. Oh, I see the home lights burning. There they are. That was quite the adventure. Uh-oh. Gotta add some fuel. Do I have meat to cook? Oh, shit. I have 15 pieces. Cook, cook. There we go. Well, I'm glad that my actual storm that's uh, that's rolling in here around the house uh, didn't like knock out the power of my internet or anything. That would have would have been a bummer. There we go. That's the last of the meat. I know, right? It's always a fear. All right. Everything's cooked. We're going to fall through our bed, apparently. I dream of a river running uphill. Yeah. Good morning. Day eight.
So we got 10 pieces of tin, three pieces of copper. We need to make more arrows. I need to sort out stuff. Actually, maybe we want to grab all this to see if we can level anything up. I don't think that, uh, yeah, we have so much stupid food. There we go. We do have our queen bee though. That's nice. All right. Anything in here that we need for leveling up? No. But we did have amber in here. I think we have some in the other chest as well. So we'll get that sorted. We'll put this necklace over there. There we go. All right. What can we upgrade? Anything? Our flint knife. That's excellent. Let's get that upgraded. Um, do, do, do. Ah, I guess we, that's just wood and stone. Might as well, right? Might as well do that for the hoe as well. Yeah, stag breaker. We need core wood, which means that we need, uh, what is it, pine? We need to go find pine trees and cut that down to get core wood. And then we have the deer trophies. Then we can make this ridiculous. <laughs> it is stupidly ridiculous mallet. Um, but yeah. Matter of fact, let's go find some, uh, some pine trees right now. Since we know that the dark forest is just north of us. So let's uh, tuck some stuff away here. now and all of that we're going to keep uh, the rocks put in here all right yeah see that barrel channel is not far from us at all I guess we ran out of uh out of tail. That's a bummer. like a massacre here. Get all that stuff picked up. Was it? 
Oh, uh, maybe this fir trees. Good for being rude. Nope. That just gave me wood, wood. No, we've got to find. Oh, here they are pine trees. No. There's, there's some over there. Obviously. What the hell is making noise over here? Oh shit! <laughs> Dick! It scared the crap out of me! Here. All right, so Jesus. All right, we do have enough arrows right now, so let's go into the crypt. What are we shooting? Regular wood arrows? Yeah, that's fine. Actually, we're not gonna need that. Into the burial chamber as we go. Let's pull out the old torch. All right, so far, this has been very, very uneventful, except one skeleton. Kill this. Ow. Who the hell are you? Rant. Whoa. Wow. Hopefully I don't die. All right. <laughs> um. That's a new kind of skeleton that I haven't seen yet. So I think uh, we are going to uh, go ahead and eat another mushroom here. Uh, we're going to get healed up really quick. Guess we can put away our torch. Or I can just chunk it. And make a new one. There. Needed a new one anyway. Oh, we have honey. Damn it. And it won't let me eat it. Oh, well. All right. So. Got to find some core wood. All right, we're getting there. All right, let's go take on this dude.
No. Oh, shit. Damn it. Dead. Wow. Well, luckily we're not too far from camp. There you go, barbarian. All right, now I'm naked and afraid again. And wet. All right, let's go get our shit. Oh, wait, while we're here. Just noticing that my stamina is horrible because I only had 25 health. So what I can do is in here, just grab uh, a few of these. There we go. That'll get us rolling again. Just in case I need it. Uh, nothing in there I need. All right, at least I got my rested. I think you lose a little bit of your XP for your skills, but, um, but you don't lose your gear, you know, because there is no character level, so. There's the entrance. And see, we're actually, uh, we were sheltered right here. Some of those overhangs are enough that, uh, there, now put our armor back on. Club blunt weapon against skeletons. Right tool for the right job. All right, so we're going to eat a berry and some honey. There we go. Oh, yeah. Look at that health bar. Rancid remains trophy. Fantastic. All right. So these are certling cores, and we will be using a lot of them. No room in inventory. Oh, hell no. Um, I will drop the blueberries to get the certling cores, that's for sure. And we're gonna have to make more room anyway, because we can't pick up the amber or the amber pearls or whatever's in the chest. Yeah, what are these? Flint heads? Well, we should be able to take those. Right? Yeah, there we go. Um, oh shit, that's just rocks. Let's go ahead and take the rubies. Is this just regular arrows? Yeah, those can go. Take the feathers. And we still need room for amber and amber pearls. I hate to get rid of leather scraps, but I'll do it. Certainly not getting rid of that. You're not sure why you kept it. That's funny. 
Because we can just get rid of wood. And we need to get rid of something else. I guess a fur cone? Yeah, let's dump that. There we go. All right. More amber. Now this will tell us where the elder is. Hey, notice there's nothing around here. It's all gray. Because we're way the hell over here and this is boss number two. So. Yeah. More certain cores. That's the blueberries. We're not even going to take any of the yellow mushrooms. And no, we're not done here. And there's certainly core bone fragments. Now, why can't I pick up his sword that he had or his shield? I should be able to do that, huh? Oh, that's just, oh, that's just a root. All right, back here in the main room. I think we already went that way. Uh, wow, this place is actually small. But I mean, we got uh, five certainly cores. That's, uh, that's enough to do some do some shit, let me tell you. Make sure I didn't miss anything. I would hate to have, like, miss a room. Nope, I, we definitely got everything down here. All right. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. All right, let's get out of here. Nice, that was a first good delve, well, other than us dying. And out we go. All right, so I need to find, we need to find some pine trees. It's still raining out here. I guess we can put out the torch now though. Don't need that. And let's swap our club for our knife again. There we go. And get him into a stun lock. Do those three hits. Oh, it's fantastic. Of course, we can't pick up. That's all like wood and stuff anyway. We're not worried about that. This was, oh, this is a meadow. I was gonna say, if this wasn't in the middle of the black forest, it would be kind of a nice flat area to build, huh? All right, back into black forest here. Looky, looky what I see. I got a couple of them, perfect. And of course I will sacrifice whatever I need to sacrifice for this wood. So let's ditch the shit. Let's just ditch the club. It's only level one.
We don't want wood. We want core wood. What? There. Now it should automatically pick up all the core wood. Right? This is all just wood wood. There we go. Feeling like working at night, huh? We got 15. We need more than that. Just all this wood just sitting here. It's. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, no, we're out. <laughs> yeah, shamans and shit like that. No. Hard pass. Shit, out of stamina. No, not poison. No, 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 just go. your ass oh shit stuck that's not where I want to be damn I like pissed everything off didn't I 19 I needed 20 Oh my god, these guys are still following me. How about now? Huh? Huh? How about now? I'll set you guys on fire. Never thought about using my torch as a weapon before. Oh, my torch broke. I got enough hit points now. Wow. All right. 19 out of 20. Let's get some rest and go up there in the daytime. Twelve meats. I'm just going to sit on those for now. Tuck that away. That away. Rubies. Oh, wait. This other one. Uh, 
let's take the wood out of here. Put those away. There we go. We're getting there. Take the feathers out and put that guy in. And we needed five of those anyway, so that's perfect. All right, let's grab some sleep. Do need to make a new torch. There we go. Um, let's go four. We're gonna grab this. So apparently we are there we go. we go all right everything's repaired See what happens when you start cutting down trees? Everything around you is like, oh, what's that? What is this? I guess we're not going any higher. Nothing really here anyway. All right, Barbarian, have a great night, bud. Thanks for coming, hanging out. 
Ow, you dick. Let's come up here. Oh, look, it's all the lumber that I had cut down that I couldn't pick up. Yeah, 42. All right. I'm okay with that. Got me a pine cone. Nice. Means we can cut down our own pine trees or make our own pine trees. There we go. Okay. Dodge that. <laughs> that was cool. Like a Hoover vacuum, man. Two seventy four. Oh, we got a leaner over here anyway, huh? sure it doesn't take out anything else that falls back at me. Three hundred. And how much do we have? Got thirty three core wood. Nice. All right. I'm okay with that. Oh, hello. Come here. Granted, I couldn't pick up anything. Uh, leather scraps. Doo, doo, doo. Um. There.
I certainly don't need the raw meat. There. Let's see what we got down here. Some mushrooms. I bet you there's a chest up there, though. No. No chest up there. Just a mushroom shitter. There we go. Got up here. That. I see you guys. If you want to read that, there you go. I have yet to, to see one that I like a new one in the last couple of days, so. Let's do this first. Let's come out here, go number four. Stag breaker. Let's do it. All right, you guys ready for this ridiculous weapon? Here it is. It has an AOE. Let's go find something to kill really quick. Oh, and it's so slow. Oh my God, it's slow. Uh, we'll come over here. day is about to get wrecked. Oh, I even got the one behind me. <laughs> yeah, that thing is redonkulous. I mean, it's slow as hell. You definitely don't want to be sprinting while you have it, like, out.
Exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's not my preferred weapon, that's for sure, but damn. Hello, Mr. Boar. See that I damaged the trees. <laughs> yeah. Oh, come here, Mr. Grayling. I got a new thing for you. Come here. Oh, am I going to knock down trees with this thing? Out of stamina. Where'd he go? Holy shit, he flew all the way over there. Yeah, this is not effective for taking down trees, that's for sure. Yeah, that shit's hilarious. But yeah, that is the uh, the ridiculous stag breaker thing. And I imagine it would be great in crypts fighting against skeletons. I think that that, it, I don't know, I'll take it with me. But you know what, guys? I think that I'm going to wrap it up for the night. Uh, I've been sitting in this chair uh, going on four hours now. And... Uh, yeah, I got to get up and go to work in the morning. So, because uh, I can't quarantine anymore. My God, I went into the office. And, of course, you know, the work keeps piling up. And my shelves are all full of crap that needs to be fixed. And, oh, it was a nightmare. But anyway, uh, we will definitely be doing this again uh, probably next week. Unless you guys really, really, really want to see more of it, uh, then you need to let me know on Discord, in the comments, on the replay. Uh, hit me up however you can. Uh, I'm having a blast with this game and uh, really looking forward uh, to playing it some more. And uh, my next stream will be on Sunday. I'll be streaming uh, most likely Fallout 4. Unless there's overwhelming, you know, everyone wants to see this. Because it's also kind of a building game. So I want to thank Russ and True. Thank you very much, True, for becoming a patron, actually. Thank you very much for that. Appreciate it. A uh, Barbarian took off. And uh, for everyone else out there, I thank you for coming and hanging out. This is Draco Invictus saying this has been the greatest day in my life. See ya.